Hey guys and welcome back to Geek Time. This week we thought because Halloween is on Wednesday, we're gonna do some geeky pumpkin carvings or jack-o'-lanterns. So we're gonna turn some of these pumpkins into some pretty cool geeky logos. Fingers crossed. A little bit of a history check at the moment. This actually came from the Celts who used to carve vegetables such as turnips and potatoes and things like that um, and lit them with embers. They used to put a carved face on them uh, during the autumn celebration time and this was to light the way for good spirits but to also ward off evil spirits. So how did it come to pumpkins. Well the Irish actually took this over to America when they emigrated over and they just used the pumpkins pretty much um, and the reason why they called it jack-o'-lanterns is because of the old Irish folktale about stingy or stingy jack and in recent years it's gone from your typical um, triangled eyes and jagged teeth pumpkins to some more intricate art sculptures. Um, I'm not that artistic at all so I've decided we're just going to do some geeky logos uh, because that seems to be the end thing. There was a lot of geeky things so fingers crossed let's try and turn these pumpkins into something pretty geeky. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our pumpkins and we're going to cut open the top and then scoop out all of the insides. We're going to do that for every single pumpkin I got. So that's going to take a long time to do all the pumpkins that I've got. So I'm just going to carry on with it and I'm not going to film all of them. Um, I'm just going to show little bits and pieces and I'll have a little chat whilst we're doing it. So we're going to take the top off first um, and this could be a bit dangerous. So if you don't like using knives then don't make a pumpkin. Um, you can buy um, little utensils and everything as well. I don't think I'm going to use that. I got a sticky feeling that's going to snap. We'll try it, but I'm not going to use that. I'm going to use a trusty metal spoon. So, next thing we need to do is take off all this gungy stuff um, and all the gungy stuff that's inside there. And we're gonna put that all into one bowl. Let's do that. So the reason why I've just got a plain black t-shirt on today is because um, I make a lot of mess when I'm making pumpkins or carving pumpkins. So. I didn't want to wreck any of my cool geeky t-shirts. Okay, so now that we've finished getting all the pumpkins, um, it's time to do the stencils on the front but first we're gonna have a little bit of a tidy up because it is a bit messy and then we'll get onto these stencils so we do try not to waste things um with skybot um so all this pumpkin guts i think you want to call it um what we're going to do with this is we're going to pop it into one of our food caddies and then this food caddy gets taken um, to an anaerobic digestion plant and it gets turned into electricity a bit of a uh, useful but not relevant fact to do with pumpkin carbon i don't know uh, yeah so we're going to chuck that in there and uh, so that will all be recycled and the actual meat then inside the pumpkin we're gonna put that into another bowl and we're gonna make some pumpkin soup. Okay, so I've had a bit of a tidy up. Um, I'm still stinky myself and it took me forever to scrub my hands. Kind of looked a bit like Donald Trump's relative. Um, but we've gutted this, uh, we cleaned it before we gutted it. 
and now it's time to put the stencil on uh, to get our logo uh, so I thought Fallout 76 is out in two weeks time so the best one to do at the moment is this vault tech logo nice and easy one um, so what I've done is I've taken the logo and I've cut out these parts here because if you left that in the entire middle will just fall through and we don't want that we want this whole look over here as well so let's get it on we've got to pin this to the pumpkin first on the best side and then we're going to use this little device and see if this actually works um, if not i got my trusty sharpie and we'll just make a little hole and then go through around it so we need some pins so we've got some pee here. This is after we uh, made the Buzz Lightyear costume. Uh, so it's covered in glue and everything, but they'll do, they'll do. Okay, and there we go. Um, it's a really nice ship, actually. These little tools are pretty cool. <laughs> so I've play the tools that are cool. Um, yeah, um, and obviously they they're not sharp. It'll still might hurt someone, but um, they're not sharp, so kids can use them. Um, I picked up this whole set for about three pound fifty. Um, and it came with stencils as well. But you can pick up just these little things um, and the scoops um, for about a pound. Okay, so those are our geeky little logos. They're not the best, but I'm no artist. So let's check out some really awesome ones now that I found just by searching for them on Google. So that's it for a little Halloween pumpkin carving episode. Um, so we hope you guys have been doing some brilliant ones as well. Let us know, write in the comments below with a link to your picture or go on to our Facebook page if you just search for Skybox Film and Entertainment and you'll see us on there. And in the comments to this video, just pop a little picture and we want to see. So we really hope you have a really spooky but really safe Halloween and we shall see you next week for another Geek Time. Let's